Hey guys, Patrick Johnston, managing broker, co-owner of Go Dominican Life, right here in beautiful Las Terrenas. And uh, today, I wanna to talk about a video about property management for you. Uh, property management is one of our divisions of our company that has been growing at the highest uh, amount. We started management services for our clients uh, about uh, 12 to 16 months ago. And uh, we started, of course, like everybody starts, one step at a time. And we had uh, one property here in Las Terrenas. And now we operate between here in Las Terrenas, uh, Puerto Plata, Sesua, and Cabarete. And uh, now we have an excess of, currently, uh, excess of 30 properties with another 12 or 14 that are being added at the end of the high season uh, that have already been given uh, given notice to us. So uh, what I want to talk to you today about is just what we do and how we do it and what is important for you as a client to think about when you're selecting a property management company. So there's really four characteristics and I'm going to say the four things in advance and then we're going to go into more detail. First, first thing is digital marketing. Um, in the olden days, you'd put a website out and then you'd hope for somebody sees your website and uh, rents something from you. you. If you're in the North American market, you're using like a Craigslist. If you're in Canada, you're using like a Kijiji, that type of stuff. But that stuff is mostly for long term. We're going to go in more detail in a minute. The second point of property management you need to consider is operations, all right? And how strength or uh, uh, the strength of your local team to ensure that you have the proper coverage that you need. Uh, and we're gonna go into detail that again in a second. The third point is administration and accounting. I think it goes without saying, you as a client want to get, want to get paid, you wanna receive statements, et cetera, on time. So we're gonna talk in detail about that. The fourth point, which is of course the most uh, intense point is experience. And for property management, uh, it is a moving target of a thousand things that are, we're operating at the same time. And as a result of that, it's the overall experience of the team that is going to deliver you uh, an, uh, the experience that you want. So as we go into detail, we're gonna talk about each one. So let's go in the first one, operations. Operations. What that means is that uh, operations literally get very little uh, credibility uh, or acknowledgement, I should say, not credibility, acknowledgement. Because simply put, uh, you have uh, people that work in the background to ensure that the customer, which is a, the real client, is receiving the experience on vacation that they want. So operations for me is repair and maintenance, uh, housekeeping, uh, guest services, and side to that is of course administration and accounting because that all of that forms operations and leadership but all of that forms it so in our team across the country we have eight eight ladies on our housekeeping team uh, that work tirelessly uh, and without a lot of uh, appreciation for what they do when you're in the rental game or the hotel game the people that are guests you know we love them they uh, make our life flow, both for you as owners and for us as uh, operators of the system. But what they have to do on a daily basis and clean up after everybody in a very short window of time is incredible. Uh, so I want to pay uh, the most uh, uh, benefits of this conversation in that area. Because when you have people checking out at like 11 a.m. and a new set of clients checking in at 4 p.m., and we have 30, 30, 34 units uh, under management or in a, an entire hotel, they have to grind it out. And some of the things that are left behind uh, for them to clean up and get ready for the next party, you know, aren't the most special thing in the world. I don't want to go into full detail, but you get what I'm saying. So these ladies work in pairs of two or three, depending on the size of the condo or the size of the villa, to turn over the unit. Now, we've gone through great training with them because not all of the housekeepers in our team know 
the real um, way of a North American life in the US or Canada to say, this is exactly what is expected. So we've had to train them very deeply to ensure that we deliver a product that our North American clients know and expect, right? Everything from uh, making sure the cleaning products are the appropriate, um, that uh, the turnover and speed is there, uh, how to make the beds in the right way, uh, and all the materials, and also the coordination just to get from one place to the other to ensure that we have a, a, a turnover that is appropriate. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of skill. So we work tirelessly. We have two camps or two bases, Sasua on the north coast and here in Las Terrenas, and then every, we, everything we run and manage are out of those two locations. Next thing is repair maintenance inside of the operations department. Repair and maintenance can be anything, but the most typical down here that requires some repair and maintenance are uh, things like uh, touch-up painting. You know, we, we suggest everybody in their condo or a, or a villa to paint with a uh, semi-gloss type of paint because that helps with uh, fingerprints and anything that go on the wall that you can wipe it off and save it. Uh, so we recommend that for the reason that it's much easier on turnovers than anyone else. If it's your personal house, you can do a flat or paint or, or uh, a matte finish or whatever you want because you're, you're not going there and experiencing the turnover that we need. So the right paint choice and right repair and maintenance is critical. Now, the other thing with repair and maintenance is just ensuring that everything is working. So things like toilet seats that aren't like this, uh, that the appliances are working correctly, that uh, toilet paper holders are firm against the wall, and just general stuff. Everything from light bulbs to uh, uh, making sure that the pool is organized and cleaning. Those things are important because they are, again, part of the overall experience of people showing up. Third point uh, on that is guest services in op general operations. We have one guest service manager here in Las Terrenas, one guest service manager in uh, Sasua that cover our system. Our guest service managers speak both English and Spanish and they have to interact in Creole for a lot of, a lot of cases because some, half our team are, are speak strictly Creole and Spanish. So you have to speak one of the two languages and it's important. So what they do is that from digital services to, to general operations, the guest service manager is the point of contact first on the ground. Como esta bien? Bien, bien. bien. Wow, look at that. Where do you see a wheelbarrow full of fruit going down? You know? If that wheelbarrow of fruit is currently in Canada, that's about a billion dollars right now at the grocery store. Side thing. Okay. But guest services, from the time you hit the ground, the client hits the ground here in Las Terrenas to the time they leave, our guest service manager is the point of contact. They're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week to ensure that Hey, I need towels. Hey, I need more toilet paper. Hey, this light fixture. Hey, that toilet, whatever. All those questions and answers are, uh, are dealt with. Because we're in the review business. You know what I mean? When we're managing your condo, your villa, you want to see that people are having a great experience and our guest service managers get the full credit for the whole system because they're the main point of contact to provide that information. They know, and we all know that it's the team that does it, but the guest service manager pulls it all together to make sure that we have a great product. All right, so next point I wanna talk about is digital marketing. We talk about operations, but before we get into di uh, operational stuff, it's about digital marketing. And I talked about the olden days when you have a website, pure, and then you hope to get a reservation and you do some marketing of your website but those days are gone what happens right now in the flow of digital marketing is that it's all the platforms that drive the traffic platforms for me to describe to you airbnb vrbo hotels.com um, google because they have their own world airbnb expedia and it goes on there's about three or four providers globally that represent hundreds of platforms, 
that are applicable depending on the zone in the world. But here in the DR, Booking.com, VRBO, Google and Airbnb, and Expedia, those are the rounded ones. So digital marketing encompasses Lucien behind the camera right now, doing awesome video and photo content for those platforms. We have to have somebody on the digital platforms that responds to people like literally instantly, 12 to 16 hours a day. And that is Peter. Peter is our manager of all the rental division. And he provides that front end experience and answers all the little questions like, how far is that from the beach? Uh, how do I get from the airport? What time is check-in? Where do I check in? Where do I check out? Do I pay? Da, da, da. All of those little questions in advance. So people show up prepared and fully aware of the cost of the transaction, if you will. And we take on average, on an average day, if I were to guess, anywhere between 12 and 30, maybe 25 new reservations per day for our system. And that, because as you know, we own the Chill Boutique Hotel here in Las Terrenas, plus 30 other properties that we currently manage and we'll be managing more properties as time goes on. So digital marketing is like the, the, the footprint. It's like, it's the hammer that drives the revenue. And if you have a, a great presence on your digital platforms, QR codes, proper website, great photos, great video, but real, those become part of the process of driving traffic, okay? So it's the 24 seven thought in advance to make the booking. You have guest services and operations in destination to cover the 24 hours a day there. And then the true backbone of the experience is for you as owners, and that's what you care about the most, is show me the money, show me the money. And that's accounting and administration. So accounting and administration to me means that we get our statements to you within the first 10 days of the begin, uh, first 10 days of the month for the month previous. So all of our payouts happen in that window of time. Naturally, if we have your banking information in the US or here in the DR, as when you enter our system, it's gonna make your life a lot easier because we can do digital transfers right away. The other thing with administration is, we commit to you as the owners is that we will you need to approve every expense that we go through our system. So we have anything in our contract, we have uh, st uh, things for emergency th situations that we have to deal with regardless. But generally speaking, anything we buy, you sign off digitally. So with a $25 item, a $50 item, a $200 item, Peter will discuss it with you, we'll gather two or three quotes locally, then you sign off, that goes into your accounting, goes on to your administration of your account. And then once a month, uh, around the fourth or fifth day of the following month, you get your statement and it shows every single reservation, where it came from in terms of what platform, uh, the price, the rate, what the net is to you, and all the approved expenses that are sitting on your account. So nothing's a surprise to you. That's the critical thing. Also, you have a login and a password to our software, our, uh, our apps that we use online, that you can see your account building, both in revenue and approved expenses, on a daily or hourly or minute by minute, uh, so that you don't get to the end of the month and I'm surprised that I've earned a billion dollars or I'm surprised I earned one dollar and have a billion dollars of expenses. So nothing's a surprise, uh, the, and the theory is, is that we keep you informed all the time. But remember, we're in, we're in property management. Property management is a 24-7, 365 system full of about a million widgets that are trying to work seamlessly to the end goal of a client experience to get a solid uh, review that benefits for the future, okay? So that's the goal. But lastly, I wanna state this. 100% of all of this only comes together when we have experience. Personally, I have more than 25 years of experience of owning and ma owning 3,000 plus apartment units in my system in Canada, in four different pro uh, three different provinces. 
And what comes along with that is 135 employees and all the divisions I've just spoke about. And that company was long-term rentals, you know, monthly, annual, that kind of stuff. What we're talking about here in the DR is short-term rentals, like a hotel system. It's more intense, it's easier on the head because you know, we're not dealing with evictions and non-payment of rent because everyone has to pay before they get the keys. So that way it's easier. But the speed of this is faster because you can get people in for one night or 21 nights. And we're in the business of making sure for you that we fill as much as possible the revenue. So let me review my notes very quickly and make sure I covered everything I wanted to say. Yeah, I think that summarizes it. So summarizes it with, the, again, as a, right from the top. Digital marketing, operations, accounting and administration, and lastly, but most importantly, the overall experience of leadership, which is what I do, and the overall team that we have set up. We have 20 plus people in property management to take care of you. Um, and it's growing. It is continuing to grow because even our own properties, our, our own projects that we're developing, naturally we're gonna have all the management in, those, uh, in that uh, footprint of our business. So when you're buying real estate in the Dominican Republic and you're hopefully choosing us to represent you on the sales or purchase side, think of property management as your mix when you're buying because you need to have that synergy between sales and management. Sales and management. I tell the brokers on our team, the greatest asset you have in the sales process is to say we have property management and, and give the details about it. Because all of you, 90% of you, won't be living here full time. You'll be three, four weeks a year, three, four, six months a year, but you want, to keep, you want things to happen when you're not here, both re revenue and management of your villa or condo, okay? So property management, that's where I started. I started that 25 years ago in the basement of my little house in Halifax. And we grew a giant system of over $138 million in assets that we owned and operated in 89 different complexes in three different provinces. We can do this for you here in the same way. Uh, and we're here working aggressively and effectively for your bottom line. Okay, so I'm Patrick Johnston. I hope that made sense to you today. Do me a favor. If it did make sense, please hit the like button. Please uh, sub subscribe to our channel because this content is what you need to know when you're working in the real estate business for you as the person that's benefiting the most. We appreciate your business. We appreciate your commitment to our team. And we'll see you here at the beach real soon. Okay, adios. Life is better at the beach.